welcome you to for another video of Heroes of Order and Chaos. This time I'm playing Jumbra, the Plane Walker. In my team there is a Cartoon, a Debroni, a Severe, and a buffed Gervas, the Molten Lord. Yeah, the buff is like his cooldown got reduced to like 24 seconds, 12 seconds at level 3. Yeah, not OP. It's not OP, guys. Definitely not OP. However, let's jump right into the gameplay. It's a uh, narrated gameplay again. It's already like played. How can I help you? I'm just talking to it again. Like, here, this game was really insane, guys. The enemy team had the Molina and stuff. And a really annoying Aerophon and that. Like the Melina was really annoying. The Aerophon was okay. He was he was he was good. Here I'm going just to the upper lane here, the upper lane, the bottom lane, I don't know the right now the name here. But yeah, Molten Lord, Garvus, I call him Garvus. He's going mid. Yeah, and Savir, I was like thinking what the fuck he was doing here, but yeah. I usually block the soldiers, but here I was like, yeah, I just don't want to let the Bruni killed by Aerophone. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm really tired. But, yeah, not too tired to make a gameplay. And here this player, I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. He said, please don't, don't choose the living weapon, everyone, ruins game. Too OP, wow. And I was like writing about it for about two minutes or something with him. Yeah, every time I did the mistake here, if I wanna uh, try to put the sentence I have, I, I write I have them. I have, I have, and instead I have. That's the problem when I'm typing too fast. Yeah, like this player was complaining about the ult from the new hero. He's saying he's too OP. He does 700 damage with his first skill, with one, with one skill at level six. At level six, he doesn't uh, do 700 damage for info. I was like, I forgot to say about it. Like at level six, you only do 400 damage. Like your first, first uh, skill. The, like your ult, you're pushing the enemy away, like over 100 damage you do, then if you rush team you deal 300. Like if you are level 12 and you got your ult at level 3, then with the ult you're doing 700 damage. Like at the beginning at level 6, are you serious, 700 damage, that's not possible. And I said to this guy like, buy Hades armor or something, and he said, yeah, of course, at level 6, Hades armor, he's saying. <laughs> Yeah, but you can, you can still, um, like, the problem at the hero, like, I was making a gameplay of him, like, I realized the battle mage was smart enough to buy a smoke item. Like, every skill from this hero is an area over effects damage skill. But the ult and the third skill are only fixed for one person. Like, if you have a smoke item, and, yeah, and the player is using his ult at first or something, but forgets to use his third skill to like deactivate the smoke titan to use it with his ult then yeah then he's pretty much I don't know he doesn't deal a lot of damage he's not dealing tons of damage like smoke titan I would recommend to buy smoke titan if you're playing with just a new hero guys don't give up maybe he's OP but if you have the right items you can you can kill even the new hero like you saw the battle mage in my, like if you watched my last video, you, you saw smoke item. I wasn't able to use, oh my god, why I'm yawning the whole time, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I was talking about battle mage, yeah, if you buy smoke item, you're pretty much good. Like if you play with this Debroni or something in a one versus one match, it's even too good to buy a smoke item. Like he deals tons of damage with his second skill intensity. But if you buy Smoke Titan, it is his only skill which is fixed for one person. The only skill which does damage only at one, like if you need to aim at one, one hero. 
Yeah, like here, my Debroni here, he does no damage. Like you saw his intensity, like almost nothing he did here, and now he is dead. And Melina escaped with with 38 HP. Are you serious? Hmm. Like Jombra. The skill build is I'm putting one point in my third, sk third skill to get like the speed buff and the HP. Maxing it out first. I'm maxing it out first because I have my talents and tablets like made for it because I get more HP. You see 316. And yeah, at level 2, you, you're not getting that lot. That much, that much. I think only 200 or 115, not not 300. I'm getting a lot more. Like I get 35% more, and I got the tablet, the tablet of immortality. Like if you're below like 40% health, 20% health or something, you get an extra 40% bonus for all healing effects and stuff. And here I almost died here, and I had really luck to survive here. I was really lucky. And here, I don't know why Savior don't help me to get this buff or something. Cause he had got it for for his self there. Yeah, like there, I saw it at the map that there had problems with Melina there. But yeah, I wasn't able to do something there cause I am a melee hero. A melee, I don't know how to speak it or spell it. Melee, I think. Melee hero, melee hero. Yeah, melee hero, okay. And the Bruni is waiting in the bush to gain the Melina. But... Yeah, it looks like he's moving away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kotun, like, if you guys saw my gameplay on Kotun, um, you know to buy the items for Kotun is like at first damage and not tanky items. Oh my god, it is again here. That's, that will be really annoying in the video. Although, I hope you guys can understand that. You see my third skill, I get over 400 health now. Yeah, Melina, really annoying. In this game, she was really so annoying, so annoying. But Garbus was a really good player in this game. You will, you will see later. Garbus was really a really good support to me. Like we both, we just demolished the team, the enemy team. We both together. Later, I didn't know this player, but he's, he's a random player, but he's a really good player. Like he knows that Garbus got the buff. I think that's why he plays Garbus. Um, and here they're pushing with three players this lane. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Like some people don't know how to play Jumper. Like the first skill, they don't even know to stun the enemies. I can't understand that. Yeah, and here was a special moment. I was trying to stun the Melina because I really wanted to kill. I really wanted to kill, but yeah. Her skills stunning me with her freeze that's really annoying and I got silence I wasn't able to stun her even yeah Erefan really annoying with his fucking silence however I was talking about the first skill of Chamber many people don't know how to stun like if you guys have eyes to read the description or something but however I don't know which age the players are or something maybe they are not pro like heavy players or something and just playing for fun but the first skill some people don't use it, never use it, just slowing the enemy down with the second skill. I would, even if you don't want to use the first skill, put one point in the first skill, guys, if you're at level 3. Because you need to mark the players to stun them. Like, you press on the first skill, and then it's loading. Like, every skill from Jumper Adults deals every over effect damage. Every skill from Jumper. That's a good thing, you can hit more than one enemy. And you're like Garbus. He did the job, he put his lava snake and bam bam, he just smashed the shit out of them. <laughs> and like Erevan, yeah, he, he got killed there. But however, I was talking about the skills here. Yeah, just pull, just using the first skill to mark the enemies, like use it. Then if it charges up, like you will see here. Charging up, then the area gets much farther. 
then just use it again. Then the enemies got marked. Then if you use your second skill, you can stun the enemy. The stun depends on the level of your second skill. Like it can go up to 1.75 seconds stun. It was like before the update, the very, very, very early times. Like the stun from Jombra, it was up to two seconds. It was so OP, okay, guys. Like stunning the enemy two seconds with your second skill. If the enemy gets marked, and then one second with your ult. That was insane, guys. And the ult, the time from the ult was five seconds, not three seconds. That were the times where Jomber was really, really OP. Okay. Like if the enemy had a team with Jomber, Cyclops and that, then it was like, oh shit, we lost, that over, that over. But now, yeah, Jomber got a little bit nerfed. But that's, oh my god, that's ages ago. I'm talking about so, so, yeah, stuff that will happened in the past. And here I'm going to chase Aerophon and that. The enemies were pushing really hard. And Aerophon. Yeah, like the Debroni there, I was like, what the fuck is he doing there? Yeah, he's killing the soldiers, not even helping us to kill Aerophon, and now he's helping us. Yeah, a little bit too late, not? Yeah, and that's uh, another thing, if you wait too long with your first skill and don't use it again, like, it, it's not effective. Like, you're not marking the enemy, you need to push it again. Like, if it's got too far, like, to the end, like, here, it's happened again, you can't mark the enemy. Yeah, like, here, the Melina again. The Melina got really fat, I think, a little bit. But Corvus in our team was really so fat, feeded. Like fat, feed it at, at the end I was like, holy shit, how much kills that got, this guy got, oh my god. That was ridiculous, he got fat so much, he got like full equipment, his full items later. Even when I got almost like my third or fourth item, he was, um, he was already full equipped with full his items, everything. But it was really good, he was a good player. Like the new update, the uh, next tour I'm going to play, I think, is, I don't know, maybe it will be Scully or something. Maybe just write down in the comments which tutors you want to see who got a remake, rework, like Scully got a big rework, like uh, Helm, Slackfist, like he got a really, really big rework, one of the biggest, I think. Oh shit, there is a little fly. <laughs> Go away from my fucking screen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and... Here, I don't know what, what I should talk about this. Okay, I'm... Okay, let's make it a little bit funny. Here, I'm going to kill the enemies here. The soldiers, they were just pushing too hard to the top. And I just killed it, but Aerophon got the mid, that was really annoying, like Aerophon and there, they were pushing mid the whole time. Like, I was like, okay, they're going now back, cause they're too afraid to get killed, if they push mid too much, but I was like, yeah, I saw that they're pushing, they're still pushing there, I was like, okay, that's enough. I'm just going there, like, going full there with my ult, and yeah, they were close together, but they were. Yeah, I stunned Melina there, then we were chasing all together, Aerophon, but this time, he wasn't able to get away. I think, yeah, I think he wasn't able to. Yeah, he died there, yes he died. <laughs> yeah, and hmm, later in this video, this there will, become, there will come a moment, oh my god, that was so funny, I locked my ass up, but you're... He was a lag, guys. Yeah, I think you guys see that. Because I recorded, like, I checked my internet or something, if something was wrong, but yeah, it was a lag, like, the game was frozen. Then synchronizing, of course. But fortunately, my hero, like, I was expecting he's going to hide there, because he has his own intelligence. 
<laughs> yeah, just fun, just kidding. Yeah, and the new thing, guys. I think many people don't know that. Um, I don't know if GameLoft made that on purpose, but it's a bug or something that now you can backdoor again the towers. You can destroy them without any soldiers nearby. Yeah, it is possible now. I tried it and it's possible. I, I don't know if it's a bug or GameLoft did it on purpose, but it is... Uh, I don't know, like the backdoor players like Evistix, Dresno, they will go full backdoor if, if they are losing or something. Just going to the map, like right, left, destroying the towers without any soldiers. And here the fucking Sia, she was so annoying. Like I wasn't able to stun Melina or something there. Like girl was almost died there. Like the ult from Sia is really annoying in team fights or something. If she wants to escape or chase an enemy, it's really annoying. But however, we got to kill her Melina, but Sia escaped. But she really wanted to annoy me or something, but she really messed it up. And here I got to kill her with Savior's help. I don't know what she thought about it. With so low health, she's going through with this wonder. Yeah, maybe she was like, okay, let's annoy them a little bit more. But that was too much, my friend, here. I was going door down to destroy the tower here. I was already level 11. Yeah, you can pretty much farm with the skills from Jumbra. Really good. The problem is the skills from Jumbra, instead of mana, they use health. Yeah, like Kagax. If you use your skills like your first skill, it took so much health and your ult. If you use them, you're almost killing yourself. Like if you're at a situation, if, you're, if you have low health and the enemy too. Don't use any skills or something, guys. Just spam your third skill to get health. Then you can just kill them. But because if you use your first or second skill every time, you're losing so much health. Like later, if, you're, if your first skill is on level 4, you deal a lot of damage with it. But yeah, you're losing a lot of HP too. That's, that's, the, that's the bad thing about Chambra. He's using so much health for his skills. And like you're charging my skill and like going in there using my stun there, then waiting till the stun is over, then stun again. That's a combination which makes Jumbra really OP there. You can stun double there. But yeah, here the soldiers like blocking my I was like Argh! I was really fuck I was really raging there. Like what the fuck? My own soldiers are blocking my way. That's really annoying. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. Yeah, and Gervus, I don't know what the fuck was Gervus doing there behind the enemy, enemy lines there. <laughs> but however, yeah, Savir and Gervus and Debroni got the tower down there, but yeah, Aerofan and Sia were taking the tower here, really annoying. Yeah, I wasn't close enough to stun them. But yeah, the good thing about Sia's ult is that you don't receive any damage. Like, she saved me from the damage from Aerophant's Ar ult. Like, Kotun and I... Yeah, there was a problem. Like, if you can't use your first skill so fast, guys, you need to wait till it's a little bit charged up. Like, there was a fail. I, I thought I already pressed the second, second time the skill, but it didn't react because it was too early. Like, you need to wait till it's a little bit charged up. Or any, any, otherwise it's not working. That's a problem. Sometimes you think you you mark the enemy, but yeah, it's not working. You need to wait till it's a little bit charged up. Otherwise, it's not working. Like I get so much health, guys. I think you guys see there how much health I get with my third skill. Like it all depends on the tablets and yeah, talents that you use, guys. Like you see, I got over 399, I think it was. Yeah, no, not 399, 604. Oh my god, you got 604 health there. That's ridiculous, guys. Like if you buy items with health or something, you get even much more health.
Make sure destroying the tower here. Later it was... It was a little bit hard to win, I think. Not hard, but yeah, it was easy, but we were just killing some enemies. Like you see here, I'm, I'm just trying to... <laughs> that looks so funny, like if you use your second skill, but the soldier already died. And it, at that moment, you want to use your skill, the soldier already died. Yeah, like you roof the eyes. Like, I don't know, after the update, like every Melina player is using like the ice block. Upgrading it first to the moment where the freeze gets two seconds done. And I curious saw how much health I got. I killed Melina, but yeah, I got killed by the sea other. Yeah, and I, my item build is like, I'm actually not buying first the Hermit Escape. But if the enemy has like, yeah, more damage or something, like here in this case Melina and they got a Aerophon and stuff, very annoying. I'm getting a Hermitis cape to deal some magical damage around my enemies. And then um, the item which uh, which gives your movement speed 10% for 3600. I think it was the Satyon Lollipop. Yeah, Lollipop. Lollipop item. And then the spider queens embrace, yeah, because they were no physical anything. They were almost everything damage, the magical da magical damage. And that, that's why about the spider queens embrace. Okay, it gives me seventeen physical, physical like defense, physical damage reduction. But yeah, I got this passive. You you know the attack speed is getting reduced. And with his mages, it's with with his mages, it's it's really it's a little. Ah, what the fuck I'm talking about here? My tongue. Ah. <laughs> However, yeah, it's it's a little bit useful because yeah, the mages have already low attack speed, and if you buy this item, yeah, the attack speed is getting lowered much more. Yeah, and I was chasing your seal like, oh my god. It's that's so annoying. The zero Sia. Oh, if you wanna chase her, it's impossible to get her. It's really annoying. Cause the first skill of her is so annoying. Imagine her in the fun mode, guys. Oh my god. Oh, that would be so annoying. Like the weakest heroes in fun mode are the most OP heroes in fun mode, I think. Like with the skills, like if you can spam the skills, that would be really OP. Like Goblin, oh my god, I played like last time with Goblin, against Goblin and that. And then I got Goblin. That was ridiculous, like your shoot skill. Oh, that's so nice. And you're like, like I said with Gervis and I, a pretty much very good teamwork here. Like, if my stun wasn't ready there, I think Gervis had ended, <laughs> like he had ended death, I think. Like a lava sauce, he ended like a lava sauce if I hadn't saved him there. If my stun wasn't ready, only one second. Hopefully he was, it was stunned luckily. Like it was ready, my stun. Luckily. Yeah, and at the 13th, 13th of July, I think, I'm getting a new mic, guys. A new setup. I just... Yeah, I bought it, and I hope it's getting at that date there. Maybe you will um, realize a change at my voice then with the new mic, maybe. Just then write it down in the comments if it's a better voice than... Because I'm just uh, using now right now a mic, it's... Yeah, like the left side, it's not working from this mic, mic, mic. Like the headphones. They're just pretty much my old fat phones from my phone. I'm using there <laughs> to record my voice, voice and that. Yeah, and Gerbus got too far there a little bit. Yeah, we already destroyed almost all the towers there. I was just out my teammates there a little bit. And here, oh my god, the damage. And it was leaking so bad. But my church still saved my life. You saw how much health I got. Over 1000, I think it was. Yeah, and here I wanted to stun her, but that bitch, that annoying bitch, so annoying, stunning the whole time with the fucking ice field. That's so annoying. <laughs> like I was writing her.
Yeah, and Splatoon was invisible there, but yeah, he got killed. Yeah, and I almost got my full equipment there. And yeah, and I was like talking about Melina, how annoying she is, and I bought Magical Defense. I bought the magical defense only for her, only. That was so annoying in this game. Yeah, and I saw the items from Gervus and I was like, oh my god, it was so full paid. Paid, feed it, oh my god. Yeah, I was like, um, yeah, if he would attack, like, Aerofounder, I had teleported to him, but, yeah. I really wanted to kill Melina there, I really wanted her that. I was like, going in there, let's stun her, but, yeah, I got frozen, damn elf, stun, then silence from Aerofound, like, my magical should help me a little bit, but, yeah, look at that stun, look at that shit, oh my god, that was... So annoying. Oh, that Melina was so pissing me off in that game. That was so annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I saw on the map like Gorbus got a little got a little bit in trouble, I think her. Like the brony teleported back. I don't know what he thought about it. Like he had full HP, full mana. But he teleported back and left Gorbus alone there. Like, yeah, surrounded by Melina is coming from the left and from the lights, right side. Aerophon, Alpha, and Sia. Yeah. And I was like, I, I, I wish I hadn't wasted my teleport for that. And kept it, kept it, kept it for this situation, situation there. Like, okay, there was a teammate from him there. Okay. The Brony didn't teleport it back, I think. Yeah, he was still there. I didn't saw it. But however, he was not a big help. Like at the beginning, he was pretty noob. He's doing no damage. Only a little bit damage. But here, Gar was... I was like on my way. I was almost there. I was there. But yeah, I didn't make it there. And here is getting to be a very funny moment, guys. Like, I'm using my first skill. Stunning the enemies. All of them. I want to use my second skill to stun them again. But Melina frozen again. And I'm just... I'm just trying to save my life. I'm just escaping. I used my shield, magical shelter. But oh my god, that's so annoying. I'm just running there for my life. And Melina ported there. She really wants to kill me, but I'm running into the mushroom there. I got frozen there, but they're blocking my way. I'm just running backwards to troll them a little bit. And then I'm running into the mushrooms there. Then I'm using my skill again. I got 999 HP there. And then again, the fucking Sia with her boots. And then Molina gets again to stop me. I'm almost dead. And then Gervus in last seconds teleports to me, uses his first skill at his own at the malicious enemies. Oh my god, that's ridiculous and awesomeness. 100%. That was awesome, there. And Gervus got a nice triple kill there. That was perfect timing, guys. That was awesome. Gervus was a really good player. I really liked his play wise or something, how he played. It was really good. And now <laughs> we were like playing there and the soldiers already destroyed the main base there. Oh my god. I was like, oh shit, the soldiers already destroyed. We were just fun having fun there, killing the enemies and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, that was so awesome there. Like running away from the enemies. Trivus is one chasing me. Yeah, I was there right and Trivus is one chasing me, yeah. Yeah, Gervus was a really good player, Gervus. Gervus, if you're watching that, you're a good player, a very good player. Like his items, everything perfect, like for his passive, Gervus got, like, if his passive is max, like 4% of his max HP, he does extra damage. Like 900 HP item he has, then the Hermit escape, everything's perfect, like magical damage, everything's paid perfect. I hadn't played Gervus better than him. He's really good. Like our team Kotum was a really, really a little bit feeder. 
Yeah, it was like two versus three Gervis and I against the whole team. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you guys in the next video. Peace!